Hi, my name is Beth Massey, and today I'm going to show you how to connect to and update data from multiple data sources on the same screen using Visual Studio LightSwitch. LightSwitch is a new development tool for building business applications for the desktop and the cloud. LightSwitch makes it easy to create data-centric, rich internet applications. I already have an application open that we've been building in this video series. It's a simple order management system that allows us to work with customers and their orders. Now what I want to do is I want to incorporate some of my data from an external data source like SharePoint into this application. I have a list of customer issues that are stored in SharePoint that our service department tracks using this issue list. What I want to do is I want to be able to bring this data directly into the order management system so that when we are viewing customers we can see and modify the customer issues in SharePoint right from our order management screen. So let's go ahead and incorporate the external data source. In this case, it's SharePoint. Now, the, I'm going to show you the same technique would apply if you were bringing in an external database as well. Okay, so I showed how to connect to SharePoint and external databases in a previous video. What I want to do is I want to focus on the code that we need to write in order to tell LightSwitch how to update data sources when they are on the same screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the data source. I'm going to right click on data sources and add a new data source and connect to our SharePoint site. Okay, and this will just read all the list data we have in SharePoint. And here are my customer issues. So I'm just going to import that. And now I'm just going to make a couple little changes um, to this. I'm going to go up to the user information list, and this is going to be how we pick who is uh, assigned to on the issue. And just make sure that the summary property for user information list is set to the name. Okay, that'll make it a little easier to see. Okay, and so what I want to do now is I need to relate the customer issue to my customer table that is sitting back in my database, in my order management database. Okay, so I'm going to just um, select customer issue and click on the relationship button. And I'm going to select in this side the customer. Now, what LightSwitch is asking me here is it's asking me because that this relationship is across two data sources, I have to select which fields on these entities, okay, one is coming from a SharePoint list and one is coming from a database, what's the relation? Okay, so I'm going to select for the customer the last name and on my list I'm storing the customer's last name. Okay, so this is cool. This is one of the nice features of LightSwitch. It lets us relate data sources together, okay, across data sources. Okay, so click OK. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new screen. I'm going to just right click on the Screens node here and add a screen. And let's just select List and Details screen. And I'm going to select our customers, and I'm going to choose to go ahead and bring in the customer issues. Okay, let's just hit F5 and run this, to build and run this, and see what we get out of the box right here. So if we don't write any additional code, what LightSwitch will do is it will make the SharePoint data source read-only. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Okay, so let's go open the customer list detail. Okay, and I've got a couple issues. Here we go, coming in from with Joe. Okay, so he's got a, an issue, and I think Jay's got a couple too. Okay, but you'll notice that I can't make any changes to this data. Okay, so we can view it. All right, not a problem viewing it, but I can't make any changes to it. Okay, so in order to enable saves across multiple data sources, you have to tell LightSwitch the order in which you want to update them, because it cannot pick an arbitrary order, because sometimes it's more important to save one first over the other. Okay, so we just have to write a couple lines of code, so let's see how we can do that. Okay, so back on our screen, um, I'm going to expand the Write Code button that's up here at the top of the screen designer, and I'm going to select the Initialize Data Workspace method. Now what we need to do here, I mean, let me move this out of the way um, so you can see the whole signature. You'll see that there's this Save Changes to parameter that's coming into Initialize Data Workspace. And what this means is all we need to do is we need to tell LightSwitch uh, which data sources are being in, are involved on this screen. Okay, so I'm going to um, just, it's a collection, so save changes to 
we're going to add. And the way we get at our data sources is we use the data workspace. And you'll see here's our data sources. There's the SharePoint. This is our security data. And here's our application data. That has our customer in it. Okay, so I'm going to add the application data. And then I'm going to add the SharePoint data. Okay. The other little code we need to write is we need to specify the order in which we want to save this data. Okay, so I'm going to, um, we can go back, actually we can go back to the designer, it's a little easier to find it when you go here. Write code, and then you can see the uh, saving method right here. Okay, so we're going to overwrite this saving method, and all we need to do is we need, just need to say the data workspace, application data, save changes. Okay, and then we'll want to save changes to the uh, SharePoint data. Okay, save changes. Okay, and when are we just going to tell Light Switch that we've handled the saving? Okay, so handled equals true. All right, so let's go ahead and run this again. I'm going to hit F5, and let's see. We, will, we should be able to now um, add, update, and delete those SharePoint customer issues. Okay, so here we go. Um, let me select somebody that has an issue. There we go. And there's this customer complaint now. And if I go ahead and I can see that my um, add, edit, and delete icons here are enabled. If we click edit, now we can go ahead and we can we can edit these and we can save them. Okay, so when we add the save changes too, that tells Light Switch that we can now go ahead and uh, add, update, and delete. When we click the save button, uh, Light Switch will save it in the order that we specify. Okay, so that's how you can use um, data from multiple data sources on the same screen and get them to add, update, and delete together. Okay, thanks for watching.